Good afternoon, happy travelers. Today we are going to Philadelphia. I just went there a couple days ago, if you saw my last video. Had a nice long layover. It's basically the same thing this time. One leg there on the Boeing 787, a shorter layover, and then I did head back tomorrow, which is really nice. So I get paid the same as I did on the last trip, which I worked both flights. But this time I am only actually working one flight, but I still get paid the same, which is awesome. We have about 10 minutes before the employee bus leaves, so let's head to the terminal. I haven't started boarding yet. I already checked all my emergency equipment and I'm just checking out my jump seat because I don't think I've ever been position eight on this plane before. But it's right here. I get this little middle galley section, which is pretty cool. Share that with the number six, and this is the 787-800 plane. So there are 20 first class seats and 214 main cabin seats. So, I like this plane a lot. We just landed in Philly and we came outside to catch our crew shuttle to the hotel. It is raining very hard. <laughs> no matter where I go, it's raining these days. LA, Philadelphia. I don't plan on going out on this layover, so it's not really that big of a deal, but if I did plan on going out, I'd be kind of screwed because I didn't bring a rain jacket or an umbrella. All right, I have made it to my room, and now I will do a murderer check. Let's see. There's not a door here, so no murderers. Could they fit in here? They'd be real skinny. Two queen beds this time. Looks pretty good. Check behind here. No murderers. Murderer free. Just for transparency's sake, I do actually come in here before I start filming and do a real murderer check. I guess I could probably like hit him over the head with the camera or something. So it is 12.37 a.m. And even though it was a short day with just the one flight, I am pretty tired. I need to eat some food. I haven't really eaten anything. So I'm gonna change into my civilian clothes, AKA pajamas, and uh, heat up some food. Tonight's delicacy is frozen chili. And I've got my little uh, little teeny crock pot that I'm gonna heat it up in. So put it in here and then probably take a shower. And in, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, that'll be hot enough to eat, so. Flight attendants eat at such weird times. It's 9.45 at home, like it's not dinner time, but we have this saying, flight attendants have the saying, it's eat when you can, sleep when you can. I am back at the airport for my deadhead flight, which boards in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna go get me some Starbucks. It's a bit of a walk though. There's only like one Starbucks and it's way in the other terminal. So for a deadhead, um, I board with regular passengers. I sit as a regular passenger. I can wear normal clothes, but I'm wearing my uniform right now because if I wear my uniform, I'm allowed to board with three bags. And since I normally work with my suitcase, my tote, and my lunch bag, I'll board the flight with my three bags and then I'll just change into more comfortable clothes when I get on the plane. And it's on a 787 again, so hopefully I'll just be able to watch a movie and chill out for a few hours and just make it home nice and easy. Knock on wood. <laughs> Fingers crossed. All right, I got my Starbucks vanilla latte triple shot with a couple pumps of peppermint. That is my go-to drink right now. I'm obsessed. I had to stop and take a breather because it's a long walk all the way to Starbucks and back. Our gate is not close. Was it worth it? I don't know, Jerry's still out. But I had to put my hair up and take my sweater off because I got really hot walking. But I still have about 15 minutes until boarding. As a deadheader, I'm allowed to board with any of the groups as long as the entire working crew is on the airplane. So I'd like to get on there early to put my stuff away and change my clothes and settle in for a nice six hour flight to LA. Just made it on board. I got my IOPSI and Starbucks. Things are good. Just landed in LA. Now I have to catch the shuttle bus to my car and go see those kitties. And also the husband, I guess. <laughs>
All right, luckily it is Saturday night, so there's no traffic. So it's gonna take me about half an hour to get home. And Kevin said he's gonna have dinner for me. So let's go, shall we? I like how Kevin already has what we're gonna watch queued up. I guess we're watching 1923. A little butter chicken. Very mild version of butter chicken. In the crock pot. I'm so hungry. Ah! All right, let's have dinner. Welcome back. So I have a couple days off and Kevin and I have been invited to an event at Golden Road Brewing up in LA. Uh, we live about 25 miles south of Los Angeles and Long Beach. We're waiting for our Uber right now, but we're getting a show from our neighborhood cat, George. Hi, George. He's our neighbor's cat, but he comes around a lot. Good, how are you? We finally made it to Golden Road Brewing and the traffic was absolutely awful. It took us almost two hours to get here. Of course, Kevin's already got his beer, but they got little munchies for us. I love me some free food, guys. Now we get a little comfort. The show is about to start. It's the next day guys. How about that mascara though? We were too tired to do anything after we got home last night, so I didn't see you again. I'm gonna sign off on this video. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of flight attendant life and a little bit of what we do in LA sometimes when I'm not flying. <laughs> That's not a normal day. That was that was a fun night out. But if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. It really helps to support me. And until my next flight attendant adventure, this is Kelly from the Awkward Flight Attendant. Peace out. What? Mm, that's right. Put on the uh, lipstick I've talked about on this channel before but it only really works if you let it dry for a while. So I've been walking around like a crazy person like this.